Hello everybody and welcome back to Vinny Adventures. I'm Vinny and today we're venturing back into the land of Hyrule for Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode we began the city in the sky, uh, the next major dungeon of the game, and we made it all the way to the midway mark, uh, defeating the Aralfos and getting the double claw shots. In this episode, we're going to be making use of said double claw shots in order to get around the remainder of this dungeon. Now, I hear you, Keese, and I kind of want to kill you before I, like, do anything here. Ooh, oh, I almost got gotcha. you. All right, I, I, I should just be using the bow and arrow here, obviously. Come on, ooh, ooh, dang it. Stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Okay, this is just getting silly. I, I've done this before, it's just a little bit hard. Like, honestly, without motion controls, it's a little bit hard to, to get these guys. Oh, come on, that totally... I'm wasting so many arrows. Jeez, there we go. That's all I wanted to do. It only took me 18 arrows. Jeez, Vinny. You're supposed to be, like, good at video games, but so far I'm not seeing it. <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, now that we have the double claw shot, obviously there are so many things that we can do around this dungeon now that we previously couldn't. Um, hence this stupid thing. This, where, wait, where is it? Uh, is it above me? Where, where is it? Hold on, I know it's like, oh, wait, wait, what? That's the door, right? So it should be like right above me. Ah, oh, it's up there. Ooh. Okay, so it's not right above me. It's, it's actually quite, quite a... Oh, man, do I really have to go, like... Okay, I can go from here, it looks like. I, I didn't want to have to go all the way around. Like, that that would just be awful. Yeah, I'm going to claw shot up here, and this should allow us to... Yep, there we go. Claw shot onto that. That's going to drop, opening the gate again. Now, this time, we don't have to die. We can actually... Oh, come on, I hear the keys, I hear the keys, I hear the keys. Oh! Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, guys, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. And in Spider-Man fashion, we are lowering ourselves down on our line. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hook shot onto one of these targets. I saw them, but, like, I kind of didn't want to use them. I was like, yeah, I'll just jump over from the platform. And, yeah, you you have to do that because when you let go of the other thing, the, the door obviously closes again. And then you die. Well, you don't die, but you you die a little bit on the inside, I guess. Now, these things. I remember these things, and I hate them. I hate them with an undying passion. These are claw shot targets. You're like, oh, yay, claw shot targets. Yes, but the things that these claw shot targets are on will start lowering themselves once you latch onto them, much like the platforms that begin to fall once you step on them. So you have a short period of time, okay, to make your way across. Uh, but it looks like I can actually Z-target onto these specific targets, so that actually, that's, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice of Nintendo. Now what is this? Can this be the compass? <gasps> it is. I think it is. It's making the, the, the jingle. Yes! You got the compass! This handy tool will show you where to find hidden objects found in the dungeon. Alright, so now that we have that, I need to... Goodbye, rupees. I didn't want you anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I know I said I didn't want rupees, but it always feels really terrible when you have to say goodbye to ten rupees like that. I don't know. But, anyway... Uh... Yeah, I don't know how much is left of this dungeon. Logic would dictate that mid-boss means middle of dungeon, but so far in the past, that has not really been the case. So far in the past, uh, you know, usually the first half or the second half are like wildly longer than the than the opposite half. So, we'll have to see. Uh, but, and I want to keep my minimap open because I really, really need to be paying attention for chess here because I, this dungeon is very like, it is not super linear. I mean, it's a little bit linear, but like, you can, I don't know. I just feel like it's very, very likely that I will miss some chess here if I am not paying attention. Uh, so I need to just kind of keep my, you know, just keep my whereabouts. Uh, okay, up we go. Now what is, what is the point of... Ah, we already did that, right? Yeah, we already did that. That was the, one of the bridges that we, 
So wait, is there is there a point to like this ledge? Like, is there anything in these pots or something? Like, what? Why are these here? Like, what what purpose does this serve other than just like taunting me? Okay. Ooh, no, no. Okay, I thought I was dead. Fifteen rupees. I'll take it. Seems relatively worth my while at any rate. But let's make our way back on in here. Now I see. Okay, let's take. Let's just. I'm gonna take a quick look at the. Oh my goodness. This dungeon, believe it or not, has as many floors as the Temple of Time. It has five floors and three basements. What? Okay. So, basement three has no chests. Two has no chests. Basement one has a chest. Floor one has three chests. Floor two has four chests. Floor three has four chests. Floor four has three chests? Okay, and the fifth floor is the boss, but oh my god. I still have like 12 chests to go? There is no way in hell, game. Why? That just seems like evil. I don't know, guys, but I don't- wow. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just- I'm like shocked by that- that's like 12 chests. It was like, I, I don't know. I'd probably have to count again, but ooh, 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 you. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna get you when you come around. Oh, come back around. Stop. No. I need to kill you so that you're not a problem to me. Okay, I got one of them. I feel like... Oh, 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 come on. There you go, I got you. I feel like this game, the, the hitboxes on things that I try to hit with my arrows is like really, like when I, when I'm actively really trying to hit something, I can ne- Oh, and I'm not even supposed to be over here yet, aren't- Wait. Wait, what? Okay, I see- I see, Okay, hold on. Hold on a minute, because I see this. Right? I see this. Now, are we supposed to- Yeah, there's nothing in here. I don't know why that's, like, open, as if we can go through there and do something, because we very clearly cannot. But we're supposed to make that giant propeller turn, essentially, and I don't- How am I intended to do that? Do I claw shot, like, up there somehow? Oh! Interesting. Okay. Okay. So... I can get up here. I can actually get completely on top of these things. Uh, well, maybe. Okay, Link, Link, Link! Stop it! <laughs> Just climb straight up. Why do you always want to climb to the side? Oh, that doesn't- that doesn't look very safe. Do I have to make that- oh! Okay, okay. Alright. The brain cogs are turning! Wait, wait, what? Why can't I claw shot from here? No, I should be able to claw shot from here. Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now, game? I should be able to claw shot from there, but it's not letting me. Can I just- there's- can I just reach this? Ugh. Stupid angle. Can I just reach this? No! So if I can't just reach that regularly, how am I intended to do that? Guys, I am so confused. It won't, like, you saw, like, look at this. It won't let me claw shot from here. See? It's, it's, it's grayed out. There is no way to claw shot from here. So what is the, am I supposed to stand? No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Cause like, I tried standing on top of this thing and it was too far away. It was too far away, right? Like, if I'm right here, all the way on the furthest edge, or the closest edge. Yeah, I can't claw shot onto that. Okay, let's get a look. Oh, what do I do? What do I do here? Am I not supposed to do this yet? Am I supposed to... Okay, I can't stand on that. Am I supposed to, like, claw shot over to one of these things? Why are you not grabbing- Why are you not grabbing onto that, Link? Um, no. There's no way. It's not gonna reach. 
Why game? All right, I don't. I really don't understand, guys. I. I. Okay. 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 Yeah, I genuinely don't understand. But I do see that there's two chests over here, and I would like to get them. So let's just head over here. We'll go back to that main room in a minute. I genuinely don't remember what I'm supposed to do there because it won't let me claw shot from the vines, which I know it's supposed to. By the way, ooh, how quickly can I do this? Oh no, oh no, you're- there we go. Target onto the correct one, please. Thank you. Yeah, these pea hats are now coming in handy again. The, we saw these back in the Gerudo Desert, but they are here as well, and they are going to be very, very handy going forward in this dungeon. We're going to be seeing them a lot, actually. Now, we're back in here. Oh, boy. This- I don't know. This- that- this is almost- this dungeon is almost stressful. I don't know why. It's- maybe this- it's this music, like, giving me an anxiety attack or something, because it's so, like, weird and off-putting, and, like, the little uka are making their little, like, quacking sounds in the background. I don't know, I don't know how else to- to explain that sound. It's so weird, though. But yeah, we can claw shot all the way through here now. Um, I think- can I re- I can't reach the- oh, okay, right here? Let me just get a look around. Oh, there's a chest over- how do I get that? I probably claw- oh, wait. Okay, maybe- okay. I'm going back down, because I think if I claw shot up here, this will give me a better angle to claw shot probably another target that lets me get this chest, right? Ah, yeah. Most definitely. Okay, you can just F right off. Go away, go away, and die. And go away. And die. Die twice, please. That was just arrows? I mean, I know I went through a lot of arrows game. Is that your way of, like, making fun of me for how many arrows I used to kill tiny little bat enemies that move through the air at, like, sort of annoying weird zigzag patterns and speeds? Uh, whatever. I- I have no shame. I am not the best shot. I will admit it. In Overwatch, I tend to play characters that I- well, actually, I play all the characters. Not necessarily an even amount, but I do tend to gravitate toward characters that are more about, like, uh... Let's just say they're more about disrupting the battlefield and creating advantages for their team rather than, uh, aiming. We'll just say that much. Uh, now where do I go from here? Because I see this, but... but then what? Wait, isn't that just back up where I started? Or is that a completely different room? Wait, is this... Can I even re... I can't reach that. Ooh, what? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, hold on a minute. No, 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 this is just where I came from, right? Like, I literally like just came... Wait, no. Oh, no, I came from down... Wait. <laughs> Did I come from downstairs? Ugh. I have, like, the memory of a goldfish today, and I don't understand why. Yeah, because that- okay. That's there, that's there. We came over here, we jumped across here. So, we go down, probably. Yeah, because there's a choo-choo down here that I didn't kill. And I probably would have killed it had I- okay, you know what? Just- can you guys all die, please? God, there's so much choo-choo. Go away, purple choo-choo. Thank you. I'm still hearing the enemy theme. Where? Ah, that's why. Okay, now these guys, this one in particular, is on top of a claw shot target, so you definitely need to kill him. Um, now what though? Ah, a switch. We're gonna use these to hit that, and then that'll open, and I sh should probably be able to claw shot through here. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. We're doing okay. We are doing okay. Okay, we go. We can go there. Can I? Okay, I can't get quite all the way over there. So it looks like this is the only way I can go. Yeah. Uh, there. And then where? I see the chest there. I I do see it. Uh, just up here. Okay. Cool. I really, 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 ooh, I really, 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 really want to make sure that I get all of the chests in the dungeon, because I don't want to miss out on anything, and it would really annoy me if I, 
You found the Uku stamp! Oh, yay. Just what I always wanted. A stamp of my probably least favorite character in all of the Zelda series. <laughs> oh no, I see you! Oh my god. Okay, nope. Wait, I just noticed Link has two differently colored gloves. What? Wait, does he only have one arm shint? Is that what that's called? Yeah, I guess he does. Wait, I thought he had two... Okay, that's really weird. I've never noticed that before. Is that like a graphical bug or has he always been like that? I guess he's always been- maybe that's because that's his sword hand. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, you know what? I don't even care about you. Because I know you're there, so, like, whoop de doo what are you going to do to me? Ten bombs! <laughs> Alright. So far the chests have been pretty crappy in this dungeon. I will just throw that out into the universe. Um, now where- how the hell? Where the- what the- would a what a what a what a what a like I don't I I don't I I don't oh no this will just bring me all the way back down is there nothing else no there is definitely more for me to do here oh don't tell me I'm like was there a door over there guys was there a door oh there was wasn't there there was a door over there that I'm wait where how am I even supposed to Is there something underneath me right now? Um, oh no. Just, oh no. What have I- what? Oh, 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 okay, I, I can't claw- This really sucks. I seriously have to go all the way back through there? Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys back in a second, because I really need to figure out if there's, like, something over in that corner, because it looks like there's a room I haven't discovered yet, and I think it was a door up there, and I probably just, like, got sidetracked by the treasure chest and completely ignored it, so I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back, and yes, look, there it is. There's the door, and I got sidetracked by the treasure chest, and I completely forgot that this was like the entire, well, one of the, the biggest reasons I came in here. And oh, hello, we haven't seen you in a while. This like giant Deku Baba thing. Uh, can I just shoot you with arrows? Oh my god, I can. Um, how much damage is that doing though? Is that even worth my time? Can you stop moving your head around every time I do that? Can you just like, stay in one place and let me shoot you repeatedly over and over? Come on, just, just, just... Are you... are you ever... okay, he's dead. He is dead now. Good, 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 good. Oh! Oh, but there's a tiny one! Why, okay, well, we are litter- okay! You almost attacked me during the cutscene, wow. That would have been really awful. Please die. Is there another one over here? Yes. Die, 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 and we obviously need to throw a bomb into you. Uh, oh, oh, I hear you. Oh, keys! Go away. Whoop. Down the hatch. What is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a key or something? I, I'm very confused as to why we're doing any of this. Um, why? Game, why? Oh, okay, there's a claw shot target here. I just don't understand what the point of killing that thing was. I thought for sure it was gonna drop something or it was gonna like, oh, okay, we are on a time limit here. Oh, we're on a time limit. Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, I see it. I see it, go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Okay, I see a chest all the way across there too. Oh, good. Tiny, thin platform parkour. Just what I always wanted! Okay, can I just shimmy? I mean, I can. Maybe the bat- maybe the keys won't see me? Okay, up we go, Link. Uh, what's in here? Arrows. Is that a hint? Is it like, heh heh heh, try- try to kill the keys again? Uh, okay. That just, like, stuns those guys. Oh, no, okay, I was trying to be all fancy and just get across really quickly while he was stunned, but... Oh, no, 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 no! You are not knocking me off this platform. You can just forget about that plan. Uh, I see more keys. Oh my god, how? How? Let oh, wait, no, that should have hit him! See, see, look at it! That's going literally right through him. 
Uh, the, the hitbox on some of these enemies is really finicky. Like, really finicky for no reason. Um, how though? Oh, I'm supposed- okay, I see. Wait, am I- do I have to shimmy? You won't climb up that? Alright, apparently we're shimmying. Shimmy, shimmy. Ah, uh, shimmy, shimmy. Come on! Oh my god, you are the slowest shimmier ever. Plus, look at how wide that platform is! He could climb up that and just walk across it. There is no reason. There is actually no reason that he had to shimmy across there, but whatever. Can this be a piece of heart? Yay! You got a piece of heart! Collect three more for another full heart container. Great! Ugh, I have to shimmy across again. Okay, come on, come on. Just, just... Oh man, this is one of those moments where I like really, really wish we had the Skyward Sword slash Breath of the Wild. Like, well, I guess, I guess actually it didn't really exist in uh, Breath of the Wild, but in Skyward Sword when you shimmy to cross objects like that, you could use up energy or stamina to get across quicker. And I just really wish I could do that right now, but I can't. And okay, we actually do kind of want to be over here. Uh, can I get it from here? Please? Okay, I can. Uh, now, is it this one? Yep. Now, can I just... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I see it. Go, claw shot, go. Oh, look, claw shot away! Now, where... Oh... Okay, the middle platform has this on it. Now, is this going to be like a, I need the boots? Nope. This is literally just probably to lower, yeah, probably just to lower myself. Now, what is this for? Oh, oh, I didn't even notice you. Okay, hello. Yes, helm splitter. Thank you. No, come on. Come on, why does helm splitter not work? Why? I s- okay, there we go. I don't know, the timing is like really, really specific. There we go, got it. Okay, one more please? Can you just be done in like one more? Did I even hit him with my shield? It looked like I just- ooh, I got 50 rupees from that guy, that's nice. Um, it looked like I just kicked him. <laughs> like it didn't even look like, um, I used the shield at all. It looked like Link just went, eh like kicked him in the shin and stunned him for a second he's like he wasn't even it didn't even hurt him he was just like did you just kick me in the shin and then like by that point you were already swinging your sword away at him um what is my minimap saying as Ooh, we've got three chests on this level in this area hmm oh and i remember this area i remember this area and i remember not liking this area Okay, so I'm I'm seeing these. These these P hats are here. Or, or are they P hats? Oh yes, I remember this. You actually do have to wait for these stupid things to fly exactly where you need them to. I'm gonna drop on top of this thing. Can I okay, I can't even climb up there. I thought maybe if I got higher ground, I might be able to like, I don't know, find something extra up there, but nope. Now where ah, there you are. Oh god, these aren't gonna fully rotate around, are they? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm- Oh no, I need you! I need that platform! Wait, am I above it? Okay, I'm above it. I'm dropping down- Oh! Literally, in the corner, the very corner, right next to where I would have been safe, is where I fall down. Oh, just leave me- You know what? You can just piss right off. I am not in the mood for you. I am grumpy. Because I'm suddenly realizing that this dungeon has a couple things in it that I do not agree with from a development point of view. Come on. Like, these things are so slow. Who thought this was fun? Do we need to have another talk, Nintendo developers, about what's fun and what's not in video games? Stealth portions and this crap is- it's not fun. Just saying. Oh. Rupees. Look at how many rupees we've already got again. And we're probably gonna get some more in this chest, unless it's bombs. Nope, 20 rupees. Nice. Yeah, we've already got like... I mean, my goodness. I think we came in here with about 300, and we've already got about another 300, so that's pretty nice. Um, I see the pea hat over there, and that's probably... Yeah, that's probably where I'm supposed to hook onto. Wait, can I even... How do I get an angle? Whoa, camera. Camera, please. 
Where? Ah. Ooh, I see. Um, I need that though. Please. Are you gonna? What, what is down there? Cause I see, I see the the dudes. I see like the armored guys. And oh, where are we going? Oh, oh, I see. Oh no, no, no! You're the wrong pea hat. Oh, dang it! Dang it, pea hat! All right. You know what? Now's the perfect time to explore this then. Cause I see these guys down here, but like I don't, I don't see why I'd want to be. Oh, just go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Please, 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 please die. Okay, you're dead. Wait, I hear another one, but I- Oh, I see him! Okay, there he is. Okay, you're dead too. Do I get something for killing all you guys? Is that why I'm here? According to this, there is a chest, like, literally right where I am. But that's obviously not true. Unless this guy counts as one of the enemies, like these spiders. I haven't seen these spiders in a while. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it. I, I don't know wh why. Why would you want to come down here? Oh, maybe this is just here in... Ca okay, because I, I see this P-hat. Essentially, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to ride the P-hat through, and you're supposed to lower it so that your chain goes through that little gap in the wall. But maybe, I guess, people didn't, like, react quick enough or didn't understand that concept for whatever reason. Uh, then they'd probably fall, and that's, like, to be nice, I guess. And that's fine. But... That was a waste of time for me. Now, come on. These are so slow. I hate this. Guys, I hate this. Like, not to be super negative, but... I love this game. You know I love this game, but it is not invulnerable to my critique. And this is one of those moments where I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is such a horrible idea. Like, they need to be sped up. Like, they need to be moving twice as fast as they are. And hello... Can you, like, actually... Really? Come on, come back down here so that I can actually reach you. Thank you. My god. Why was that so difficult? Sometimes, like I said, I, I deal with these poses in, like, two seconds, and then other times I have issues with them. Because sometimes they just, like, don't want to come down to my level. Uh, but here's one of these bazillion chests in this dungeon we have to collect. You found the stamp for the Hylian letter G! Alright. G, G. Now, where is the P hat? Can you come back, Mr. P hat? Oh, there you are. Ooh, and I think this is a, a good time to get the other one, maybe? Come on. Yeah! Okay. We're doing okay. Now, what I don't understand is how I get over there. Oh, wait, no, that still doesn't make any sense. I thought maybe I could climb on top of this. Yeah, maybe I have... I probably have to go... Th maybe that's an exit and not so much an entrance of a door. Maybe. That's my only other thought. Because it doesn't appear... Yeah, it's not going to go all the way across this. Otherwise, well, I'd be screwed, wouldn't I? Uh, yeah, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. I don't get it at all. I'm confused, but whatever. We'll, we'll go back for the chest sometime. Hopefully. Do I have to ride you all the way across? Or are you gonna stop? Do I have to ride you all the way across? Yes, it looks like it. Okay. Cool. Because down there... Oh, there's a chest down... Oh, game! Alright, I'm gonna see if I can... Oh, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting this in time to claw shot. And it's just bombs! Game! You suck! Oh, come on. See, this is like, why? That's just jerkish level design. That's like, I don't know. I, I don't like that. Why put, see, they, they knew. They put a chest down here so that you had to come get the chest and then ha unless you timed it perfectly, you'd have to like get back up. You have to wait for the thing to make an entire separate rotation back in order to get back up. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's dumb. I don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. I'm gonna complain and bitch and moan about it because I just, I think it's not the... I, I don't know. It's not fun. Not having fun. Well, I am having fun. I'm having fun playing the game. I'm having fun let's playing the game. I am not having fun with this particular mechanic. And unfortunately from the sound of it in this room, it sounds like we're gonna have even more of it to do here. Although maybe not quite as bad. 
Yeah, because they're- it looks like these guys are standing still. Or floating still, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, this is going to be much easier and much more fun. Now, you can go that way, but you can also backtrack this way, and I guarantee you this is how I get that chest. So I'm gonna go back here and do this first. Drop down, and yeah, this is totally how you get that chest. Yep, it is, because I can see it on my map. So this indeed was an exit rather than an entrance. And this better be like a heart piece or something, because this one was a little more... I don't know, it was a little more out of the way. You got a piece of heart! Like two more for another full heart container. Nice, nice, nice all around. Very happy with that. We really, really do not have that many more heart containers left in the game, guys. I don't know how many we have left. Um, because I think we have... I don't know. I, I don't want to say how many more full heart containers we have left to collect, because that'll kind of, like, spoil maybe how many dungeon bosses we have left, and I don't wanna, really want to spoil that for those of you that might actually be watching, you know, this Let's Play and it be your first time ever seeing Twilight Princess, um, or at least seeing it all the way through. I, know, I actually know people who start games like this and don't finish them, because they were either too hard or they lost interest or, you know, whatever. Um, but whatever the reason, if you've never played this game before and you're watching me play through it, um, A, thanks for watching my Let's Play of it, because there's so many, there's probably so many different Let's Plays of this game out there, and you chose to actually stick through until this episode, at least with mine, and that's really cool. Um, but also, um, ooh, yes, down for the count. Okay, come on, come on, come on, get him while he's down. Ooh, no, okay, fine. There we go, Helm Splitter, come on. Can I do a backslash? Well, I tried doing backslash. Come on, backslash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Oh, he's getting smarter. All right. What? I hit R for, like, Helm Slitter. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Gotcha. Can you be dead? My god, you have a lot of health. At least they give 50 rupees. That's really nice. I don't know. I, did they give 50 rupees? Oh. You know, ooh, you know what I want to try that I haven't in a really long time? Bomb arrows. Let's see. Can I can I get you? Oh, I missed him. Oh no, he's smart. Oh, he's not smart. Oh, he died in one hit. Oh, mg. Well, I'm never killing them the conventional way ever again. Uh, okay. So, do I just go in? Is there a door into the middle thing here? Probably. It looks like maybe here. Yeah. Okay. I don't... how close are we getting to the end of this? I don't remember how long this dungeon is. I remember it being fairly long, and I was actually kind of surprised at how quickly the mini-boss came, which probably means that this dungeon's extremely long. Here's one of the chests we need. I mean, at least these chests are, like, coming at a, at a steady rate. Like, yes, there's a lot of them, but they're not too few and far between. So, hopefully that means that, you know, it won't take forever, and hopefully that means we're not too far away from the end of this. Um, now I see that. No way. I, do I have to lower myself? Oh, wow. Th this... Okay, let's... Let's try it. Okay, can I... Can I not get down? Nope. No, I cannot. Can I... Alright, I want to try one more thing. I want to try one more thing. Can I... Claw shot? Nope. Th that literally, in my game's opinion, does not exist right now, because, yeah. What if I do it from, like, here? Yeah, there's no way. It's just moving too quickly. So, I'm not supposed to be in here yet? Apparently, there's gotta be a way to, like, make that s <gasps> Is that the front- Oh, no. It is. That's totally- Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, I think I know. Okay, do you guys remember that, like, weird caged bag-looking thing that we grapple onto in, like, the very main room, like, the biggest room that had, like, the four ways to go? I think I'm intended... Okay. I think I know how to get that. I think I know how to do that, and I think it involves going through here, actually. Um... Do I have to be... I kind of vaguely remember needing to be Wolf Link in this part. Um, but I'm not seeing anything. I remember Midna, like, telling me 
Like, I remember using Midna to jump around in this section, and now, now I'm not seeing it. Oh! Or, you know, if I would just, maybe, use my eyes, I would know that this was here. And then I could just, you know, claw shot up to this, and then that's how you would be able to progress. Oh, hello, okay, well, I used the bomb arrows, at least. Oh, oh, that's right, Link can't, seriously, why can Link not tightrope? Only, only Wolf Link can tightrope, apparently. Whatever. Have it your way. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Dougie. Come on, get up there. Thank you. All right, now, where... Let's transform back into human, because I, I want to do this. <laughs> I love how I'm just using bomb arrows now for everything. I'm like, now that I've... I've ki now that I've had that taste of blood, I, like, on a rampage for, for killing... And I wasted one, and that's fine. But I'm like on a rampage now for killing things with the bomb arrows. Now, I know that I could climb up here. Is there... Is is this where I want to go? And then that's a bonus chest? Probably. Oh, yeah, and there's spiders up here, too. Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna maybe do something stupid here, guys. I'm gonna go around the long way, because I think the long way is the bonus chest. And I think the way that I just was going is, like, where I'm supposed to go. And yeah, this is obviously why I remember being Wolf Link in this part, because you have to be Wolf Link to tightrope. Again, this game, like, I played this maybe, like, I don't know, it's gotta have been at least six years since I last played. So I remember things because, you know, obviously favorite Zelda game, but they're they're kind of foggy at times. They, they're not always quite there, and there's an, another chest there, and oh, wait, what? Oh man, that's the bonus way, isn't it? Man! Ugh. All right, guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go tightrope back over to the other part because I'm pretty sure that's the bonus section. Okay, I'm back over here now, guys. We need to take care of the spiders that are on this thing, first of all. Okay, there's one. And... There's two, and I think... Actually, what am I doing? Screw climbing! Uh, can I actually... I'm trying to, like... It's probably wasted the same amount of time that it would have taken me to just climb over regularly, but... Um, I really, really hate climbing in this game. It's super... And it's hilarious, because climbing, rock climbing, is actually, like, one of my favorite things to do in Breath of the Wild, but... In this game... As in most Zelda games, Link just climbs really slowly. Like, I don't know what it is about Nintendo, but they, they refuse to let animations be, you know... Oh my god, I didn't even know Link could do that! I didn't know he could hold on like that, but thank goodness he did, because I would have been so mad if I had to do that all over again. Hoi. You found the stamp for the Hylian letter Z! Alright, ooh! Hello. Oh, ow. That was rude. You're supposed to let me turn into a wolf first so that I can kill you. It's just etiquette. Okay. Now, let's... Come on, come out! Oh, come on. Really, just get him, get him, get him! There we go. Take out your soul. I don't know if I'm going for all 60 pose, guys. I've, I've already said this probably, you know, a million times at this point. Maybe I'm a, like a broken record, but, um... Yeah, I just don't think I really... I don't know. I, I don't know if I am yet. I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm not saying I am. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, I just... I don't... I don't... I don't know. Um, I'm trying to... I'm actually trying to jump off, Link. Like, can you... F oh my god, I'm getting... Fr I'm getting frustrated with Wolf Link a little bit. Uh, but yeah, like... I don't know, the, the 60 pose, the thing that you get for them, is something that I just don't particularly think is, like... I don't know. Again, we'll see. If I do all the pose, it will be more than likely its own separate video, probably after the main series is done. And there's, again, there's no promises or anything, and I don't know why I just changed back, considering I knew that I needed to do this, but, um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna make any promises, but, um, this is the way I wanna go, right? Okay, yeah, it is. Wait. Yes, it is. I think. Oh no. Yeah, it is. Okay. I like I'm getting confused. I'm I'm c I am i am i could not remember which 
of these two paths was the way I was supposed to go, which one was the bonus area, and I, uh, it was just, I, I'm not, I don't know, this dungeon's making me a little bit, like, flabbergasted at times. I feel like a flustered old man. Like, poof, like, I don't know, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not super familiar with it, it makes me feel uneasy. I, I'm not enjoying the slowness of it all, because, like, this, I don't know, the first half went by really quickly, and I feel like the second half is just dragging on. I feel like there's not enough fun mechanics to make up for the slowness of some of these other mechanics. And, ow, I can't, can I get behind, like, seriously? Oh my god, you're annoying. And these things. Okay, I kind of got you, I think. Really? Am I actually attacking him there, or am I just kind of startling him a bit? Can you turn around and get out of the damn air? Like, jeez. So annoying. So annoying. That's like the common thing, the common theme of this game right now. It's just so annoying. And yeah, I can't get to that... Ch oh, I can probably do this, though. Wait. Oh. Apparently I can't do that. Yeah, I, wait, I can claw shot? Oh, I get it. Okay. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to ride this thing around, apparently. Now, this is what I was talking about with the, uh, with the main room. Uh, the room that had, like, the four corridors and, like, yeah, it's just, it, you know, we, we know by now, like, what, what I mean when I say main room. Um, I think this is gonna lead us back there, and you'll see in a second. But, you got the big key! Use it to gain access to the lair of this dungeon's boss. Alright, so we do have the big key now, so that's, that is a good sign. That is a good sign, guys. We have, oh, 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 come on, come on, come on. Um, so now, is there, so, okay. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so I think what I want to do here is I want to claw shot onto this target. I want to lower myself. Oh, and then this is that. Oh, but that doesn't help me at all. Wait. No, I need to turn the air off, though. Oh, this is not nice. What? What do I do here? Like, genuinely, what do I do? I'm confused. Oh, oh, I, right. Okay, that thing. This is probably going to, t oh, and I can, I can actually get it from here. Thank you, game, for being a little bit nice to me. There we go. Oh my goodness. <sighs> See, this is, this kind of happened to me with the, uh, the lake bed temple. I started out going, ah, oh, it's not so bad. It's not like, you know, the worst dungeon. I don't hate it or anything. And then, like, two videos later, I was screaming my head off because, like, I just, I remembered how much I hated it. And I was trying to be optimistic and, like, give it the benefit of the doubt and, you know, everything else. But it just, okay, now, yes, this is what I was talking about. This is how you were intended to reach this stupid thing. Now, that is going to make the main propeller propel. <laughs> and that will make those things outside turn. And voila, we now can finally, after all this- Okay, but, I need- I want to check everything, guys. Okay, no chests in the basements, that's good news. Oh no, there's one chest over there. There's two chests over there. Wait, no. There's only one chest over there. There's a chest on the second floor, off to the east side, and that's it. For the, there, well, there's another one on the, oh, there's another one on the third floor. Ah! Okay, before we continue progressing, because I think at this point, the next area that I'm about to go to is like, that's it. Like, we're about to head to the boss. So I'm going to meet you guys back at these other chests, um, because I want to get them. So I'll, I'll see you guys in just a second. Two hours later. Okay, guys, I'm back. And this took me freaking forever to find. I could not get here. Yeah, back in this room on the east side of the dungeon, it's like the second floor in this kind of room where you had to like take the uku and go across and blah blah blah. There is that over there. Um, you're supposed to get that chandelier. I don't know, the guide calls it a chandelier. 
Uh, I don't really think that's what it looks like, but whatever. You're supposed to use the Uku, and you're supposed to use the wind to kind of guide the Uku over here, and then, yeah... Oh god, this was so frustrating to get to this chest. Like, just to find it in the first place. Um... So yeah, there is that, and let me just double check before I am out of here. Okay, there are absolutely no more chests on this side of the dungeon. There is just the one other chest that's on the west side on the third floor. So that is where I'm going to meet you guys, the west side of the dungeon on the third floor in just a second. 2,000 years later. Okay guys, I'm back. <sighs> Deep breaths. I found the chest. It's all the way over in the west side. It's in this room where you have to like cross the little narrow gaps and like make your way up here, make your way into the middle. Instead of going from here into the middle of the room now like I did, what you actually want to do is you want to drop, drop off the edge here. And here it is. This tiny little small chest that had 10 rupees in it took me another, I don't know, 10 minutes. The, the amount of editing I'm going to have to do in this video is just, I mean, oh, it is, like, I don't know. It's frustrating, but I'm going to try not to not complain about it too much longer. I am just going to use Uku, and I'm going to get the hell back to the shop. I've actually used Uku. This is my third time using her in this dungeon now. This is how frustrating this dungeon has been, that I have actually resorted to using Uku. But anyway, I will be back in just a second. Okay guys, we're back. We're back in the main room. This is going to be one freaking astronomically long of an episode, but there's really not much that I can do about it. This dungeon turned out to be way more frustrating, way less fun than I remember it being, for sure. I'm still not going to go ahead and say it's a bad dungeon. It's still better than the lake bed temple dungeon, I think. Um, but... It is not among my favorite in the Zelda series, I will just say that, and now we have to do this all over again? Ugh. Okay. Okay, I got one. That's- that's good. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, come on. I totally would have had that one, too. I just- oh. Oh, 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 come on! Dang it, I hate these things. There we go, I gotcha. Alright, so those three are dead. I don't even know if you have to kill them necessarily, I just know that it'll make it easier. Wait, why is that saying that I can latch onto it when I clearly cannot? Okay, well, apparently that worked. Now, I do know that- the oh, is this gonna be- okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to do this. I thought I was maybe gonna be on the wrong side to be able to latch onto the other one. Now, I'm keeping an eye out because there is a chest. Ooh, I got turned around for a second. I hope that it's off in this direction. I hope that it is. Um, but it, yeah, it says that there's a chest, like, basically here, actually. Is it, like, hiding behind this giant propeller? It is? Oh my god, it actually is. I was joking, but sure, I'll take it. I'll uh, thank you for letting one of these chests just be simple. You got 50 rupees. Kind of anticlimactic for our- <laughs> No. No. No! Oh my god, and they've all respawned! Alright, you know what? Screw it. Screw everything. Can I just- Okay, I- I'm- Okay. I know, I see you, and you do terrify me a little bit, but I'm I'm gonna be doing this my way, okay? I'm gonna try to Z-target. Okay, maybe maybe that's not the bet, because I do need this out. Um this this is probably gonna end badly. It's probably gonna end badly. Can you guys can you guys just like leave me alone? Just just leave me alone. And this is a really pretty view. You know what this reminds me of? And actually, I guess this other th okay. This reminds me of the Throne of the Four Winds in World of Warcraft, for any of you that have ever played that. It was in the Cataclysm expansion, and it really looks a lot like it, but I actually think this game came before. Uh, yeah, I I'm pretty sure this game, yeah, this game did come before Cataclysm in World of Warcraft, so... I don't know, and this is probably inspired off of something else, of course, too, but... Oh my god, we have another large room ahead of us. Hopefully this is like the last- oh! Oh no! Oh no, there are two of them. There are two of them. Can you charge at me now, please, sir? Sir. Sir, please. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go! 
Can you die? Just, just die. Nope, nope. Ow! Okay, that was cheating. That was cheating. There we go, I got you one more time. Alright. I want to try to take out- I want to focus one of these guys down. Because... Having- oh yeah, like that one. That one's gonna give me- see? See? Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Gotcha. 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 Come on. Come on. Can you just be dead? Okay, that one's dead. That one is dead. Ooh, he dropped a hundred rupees. Holy smokes. Okay, I'm really happy about that. Oh my god, we are almost capped on rupees now. That is crazy. Oh, that- okay, that did the opposite, really, of what I wanted to happen. Stop it. Stop doing that. Okay, can you just do your- your dumb flight- thingy again so I can hook you. Come on. Come on, Mr. Errol Fos. What a weird name. Come on. Charge at me. Thank you. My god. It's like he, he knew what I was doing. Okay, give me my 100... Wait, you didn't drop 100 rupees? I feel cheated. Okay, there's a bunch of hearts in here, and as you can see, I am freaking low on hearts because I spent the last 30 minutes in this video off camera falling over and over and over again. And sometimes I had to fall because I needed to get back to the beginning of a room and I didn't want to have to go all the way back around because this dungeon is very convoluted. But whatever. Okay, now where... what now? Seriously, what now? Do I go... do I latch onto that and then go somewhere from there? Probably. Let's try it. Is there, like, something in the middle of... yep. Wait, oh no, that's not- that's not turning, and it probably needs to- well... Actually, no. Ah, I see. Now it will turn, I imagine. Yep, here we go, now we turn. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. Famous last words, but this- this doesn't look too bad. It, it looks like this should be a relatively simple one. I don't even care. Guys, seriously, I don't care about those pots. They- those pots can... Uh, no, no, not doing it. I am just going to finish this freaking dungeon. I got all the ch- and wow, the camera hates me. Go- sorry, sorry camera. Um, I- yeah, this dungeon has just been frustrating. Like, I want to just GTFO. Like, I want this to be done. <laughs> like, I- I don't know, it's- What do you guys think of this dungeon? Those- oh, no! kind of want to cry. Guys, I, I just kind of, like, in life, there are things that can frustrate even the best of us, even the calmest of us, the wisest of us, and City in the Sky in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD might just be, for me, for me, one of those things. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why is that so difficult to latch on to? Oh my god, guys, I'm getting really- I'm getting genuinely mad. Genuinely mad, and I don't get mad at video games very often, but holy crap, this is frustrating as just- oh my god, like, there are a few choice words I really kinda wanna use in this situation! Oh, yes. Stupid. Like, this is not a fun mechanic. This is, like, again, one of those- like, you have to wait an astronomically large amount of time for no reason whatsoever. I think you're supp- I don't know. Maybe what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get off and- Ooh. Oh, that's a blue one. And I don't- I don't- I don't really care. Okay, whatever. Um... Like, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be on this side or something, and that makes it easier to hook onto the next one. But again, that's dumb, because then I have to, like, get off of my current and- Wait, what is even- do I have to latch on to that middle one? Because it's not moving. It is not moving, but I think I do, because there's probably another switch over- Yeah, there's another switch. Uh, come on, there we go, that should work. <sighs> breathe, Vinny. Just breathe. Inhale and exhale. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys, I just- Guys. Like, and we got the- we got the last ch oh, and the door is here. Oh, thank god the boss door is here. And oh, we're full on hearts. Alright, I am not even taking another second. We are going through this door. We are done! We are done with this dungeon. Or at least we will be in a second. Man, I- I don't know the last time I've raged so hard at a Zelda game before. 
And you guys are probably like, oh, you're so cute. Like, you're not even, like, th this is the maddest you get. Well, no, this isn't the maddest I get, but this is like, this is the most angry I've gotten at a video game, at specifically a Zelda game, in quite some time. Now, where the heck do I go from here? There's obviously going to be some sort of claw shot target somewhere. But where? Oh, I see. And it's very ominously quiet out here. Very ominously quiet. The music has just flat out stopped. Ooh, is this all there is to this? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, up we go. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Dragon. Welcome to the boss of the City in the Sky, Twilight Dragon Argorok. This might actually be one of my favorite dungeon bosses in this game, despite this dungeon not being my favorite dungeon. We'll just say that much. Now, I think think, if I remember correctly, what you need to do here is you need to get as high as you can up to the top of these and just kind of... Ooh, I can't... I, is that one not close enough somehow? I, I thought that's what I did. I could have sworn... Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you latch onto his tail, you put on your iron boots, and you drag him to the ground. Come on, come on, there we go. A little bit of his armor is going to break off and explode, and so far, this is the gimmick of this fight. We need to get all of that heavy armor off of him. Now, he's going to blow around some wind, if I remember, uh, and, uh, no, I don't, I didn't want to pick you up, Skull. Now, does he just come back down, or do I, I think, because obviously, guys, uh, you know, hint, hint, there are multiple phases of this fight, so I'm wondering if I have to... Ah, uh, ooh, wait, I can actually reach you from here? How? Whatever. Not complaining. Iron boots, ahoy! And actually, Argorok might be a female, I'm not sure. But anyway, now that we have taken off enough armor, we have revealed his weak point. Because every dungeon boss has to have some sort of eye or vulnerable glowing spot on its body so that you know how to kill it. I don't know, I never understand that logic, but whatever. He or she is now pissed. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Now the real fight begins. It is going to start thunderstorming, causing these plants to somehow miraculously come back to life in like two seconds and sprout into pea hats. I think these things are called pea hats. I know the big ones are called pea hats. These ones might have different names, but whatever. They are pea hat looking things that we are going to latch onto, like always. Okay, so I want to find, all right, this pillar is close to the other pillar. I basically, you want to like claw shot onto these and you're gonna want to claw shot back and forth to try to get as high as you possibly can. The goal here is to get to these P-Hats. Now, can I just Z-target this one from here? No, it looks like I actually have to be up. Okay, so I want to Z-target onto this, and now we can see our Grok is kind of paying attention to us now. He's going to start breathing fire, and you just want to make... Oh, God. You just want to make your way as quick as you can around to the back of him. He is going to be slightly slower than you, which is a little bit surprising. But yeah, if you can manage to get around back, you can... There we go, that's what I want. Okay, and B, B, come on, slash away, Link. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, okay, he's down. But he is not dead, and yeah, I, I can't get any more hits than that, unfortunately. Um, come on, Link, come on, Link, come on, Link. Ooh, grapple on, Link. I think the boss will cause winds to, like, push you off if you're not quick enough with this section. 
And yeah, he also... Oh yeah, he's following me. He is... Oh, no, 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 no fire. No fire, please. I do not want to be an entree today. Okay. All right. All right, we're fine. Come on, let's just make our way around back. We're doing all right. Uh, you kind of want to wait for him to start blowing the fire, which I did not listen to my own roll there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, now, now we head around back. Oh, no, all the way, Link. Come on, there we go. This is really just kind of a rinse and repeat from this point on, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember there being a third phase, but... Oh boy, you're, you're a little bit... Oh, I remember something that he might do. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, target onto the damn dragon! Okay, there we go. I thought I wasn't gonna get him in time. I'm just gonna call him him. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, but... Oh, skydiving! Okay, now we need to do this once more, I be- Oh, come on. Oh, oh, there's that wind! There is that wind. Okay, up we go. All the way to the top. Come on. Oh, nope. Oh, no, no, no. I see him coming. I see him coming. I see him coming. Woo! He's growling at me. Come on, Link. Oh, you can't climb, Link. He won't... Oh, my God. I really don't want to be over there right now. Uh, can I do this? Oh, I can. Okay, screw that then. All right, where are you, Argrok? Okay, we're going to head around to the left this time, apparently. Come on. Come on, blow your fire. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think this last cycle, he will try to fake you out and head in the other direction with his flame. I'm not sure, though. I could be... Oh, yes. I am... Yep. That's exactly what he does. See? And now you want to head around to the other side. This should allow me to just continue doing what I did the last two uh, cycles, though. But I, he seems to be much quicker. Oh, my God. He is much quicker. Come on, we're not quite there yet. This should be... Oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. All right. This should be it, guys. Come on. One, two, three, four. And he is down. Thank you very much. Oh, I really do like that boss fight. I really do. I just, uh... I'm not too fond of this dungeon now, I think. But here we go! This is our last fragment of the Mirror of Twilight. You did this, Link, you did it! It's the fourth shard. Yes. Now we have them all. Hey, Link. The words of the sages, do you remember them? Only the true ruler of the twilight can destroy the Mirror of Twilight. Zant could only break the Mirror of Twilight into shards. He couldn't utterly shatter it. That's proof of his false kingship. Link, we have to hurry to the mirror chamber. After all, a fake is a fake, and no matter how much you dress it up, the real thing always wins. All right! You got a heart container! Your life energy has increased by one and has been fully replenished. That is our 17th heart container. Wow, e wow. Get out of here, Midna. I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? No. We are gone. Alright, well, we are going to end it off here. Normally I would shoot myself out of the cannon back down to Hyrule, but I, I just, I need, oh, 
the strong winds. Okay, let's put these on then. But I think I'm going to go ahead and finally end this episode off there. This may be the longest episode. I'm not sure after like editing and everything, but I'm sorry if this episode is really long. Normally I try to keep these much shorter, but this dungeon just gave me the run for the for my money. And seriously, like by the way, look at our money. We are capped out at 1,000 rupees. In the next episode, we are going to run around Hyrule and we are going to complete probably a lot of errands before heading off to the Mirror Chamber to see what's going to happen once we combine all fragments of the Mirror of Twilight into one piece. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time on Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. See you later!